Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. I've been having a problem for the past month or so where something happens in my computer. And when I go into my web browser and turn a video on in YouTube, it won't play. And then eventually I'll get a message saying you have to restart your computer. And if I restart the computer, reboot my computer, it fixes it. And this happens in Firefox and in the Brave browser. And when it happens, I can still play a video that's on my system in MPV or celluloid, but not in my web browser, not in YouTube. And I found a better way to fix it instead of uh, rebooting. So today I'm going to show you. So let's get to it. So right now I'm in my real production computer. I'm running Arch Linux with the Qtile window manager. And first, I'm going to show you how I can play videos in MPV or celluloid in my hard drive. So I'm going to open up my file manager and I'm just going to click on my video folder and I'm going to click on this uh, Qtile video I made that's in my hard drive and I'm going to open it with MPV. I'm going to talk about Qtile. Now it's been a year and a half since I made a video about Qtile. Okay, so you can see it plays, right? Now I'm going to open up a video in celluloid. I don't know if I, ha I don't think I have a key binding for celluloid in here. So I'm just going to type in SCL, click it on. Let's open it. Let's open a file. Let's go to videos and let's click on this one. I am the Linux Mensch. Today I'm going to do another video about Qtile. So now I closed it and you can see my, the videos from my hard drive are playing in MPV and in celluloid. So now I'm going to open up Firefox. And I'm going to go to YouTube and look at this. See, it's not playing. See this thing spinning around? And eventually it's going to tell me, there it goes. If playback doesn't begin shortly, try restarting your device. Now, if I reboot my computer, it fixes it. Now let's close it and let's try the Brave browser. And let's go to YouTube. And now we're in the Brave browser and you see we have the same problem. The thing's spinning and eventually a message is going to come up telling me to read. There it is. The playback doesn't begin shortly. Try restarting your device. I'm going to close this. And it's odd because uh, videos from my hard drive will play in MPV and they will play in uh, celluloid. But videos in Firefox and Brave Browser and YouTube won't play. And like I said, if I reboot my computer, it fixes it. But there's a better way to fix it. And I'm going to type in GNOME System Monitor. And I'm going to open up GNOME System Monitor. And see this wire plumber here at the bottom? Sorry about the bright white. My GNOME apps don't work properly with my dark theme. Why? I don't know, because they used to work. <laughs> and the GNOME apps do work properly with dark theme if you're running the GNOME desktop environment. But if you're running a window manager or some other environment, they don't seem to work properly. So I apologize about the bright white. So see this wire plumber here? I'm going to kill it. So you highlight it and end the process. I'm going to end it. Takes a second to end it. There it goes and it's gone. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to open up Firefox again and I'm going to go to YouTube. Come through social media such as Reddit or Mastodon. Sometimes these questions come through email. And you can see it's working. So now I'm going to close it and I'm going to go to the Brave browser. Make sure that's working and I know it's going to. I'm going to go to YouTube. On YouTube and Odyssey, sometimes these questions come through social media such as Reddit or Mastodon. Sometimes these questions come through email. And you can see it's working. So I'm going to close this. And that's it. <laughs> In this video, I showed how sometimes my YouTube videos and my web browser stop working, regardless of whether it's Firefox or the Brave browser. But they still work in MPV video if I'm running a video from my uh, hard drive or celluloid if I'm running a video from my hard drive. The error messages tell you to reboot it and rebooting fixes it. And I found a better way to fix it. I can use GNOME System Monitor to end the process of Wire Plumber and that fixes it. And it's a lot easier doing that than rebooting. Now, I think the problem has to do with either OBS Studio or Caden Live because after I've recorded a video and edited a video, that's when I have that problem. If you've been having that problem, let me know in the comments and let me know how you solved it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mensch.